welcome to the wrap up of day nine here for the Double X Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo, and this is Glasgow Gold, Gold, Gold Australia, because that's what we had out of the athletics track tonight, Robbo. Pearson, Samuels, and Patterson. Yep. The trio, Golden Girls, uh, joining the Golden Girls that have gone before them, Elkington and Mickle. And we throw Michael Shelley in there, who's got a girl's surname. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's all happening. Surely. And uh, Mossy, we were lucky, to, lucky enough to be out there at Hamden Park for what was an historic occasion. So here we are on the eve of a huge night of athletics. It's all happening behind us, the men's 1500 heats. We've got the women's discus, we've got the women's high jump final. At the other end, we've got the men's pole vault final. It's going to be big, strap yourselves in. Uh, it's the 100th gold medal earned by a female athlete at Commonwealth Games. Um, but let's go back to where it all started. Yeah, Eleanor... Well, back in uh, the 1930s. Well, 1930. Come on a little bit from then. But no, today, <laughs> Eleanor Patterson, 18 years old, Mossy, she can barely... Uh, uh, show her ID and get a drink in a Glaswegian pub. She came out one meter ninety six, uh, blew them away, and easily took took care of the rest of the competition. There took the gold. Minutes after that, in the throwing cage just adjacent to the high jump mats, Danny Samuels, very work woman like, comes out and uh, easily. Uh, you know, accounted for the field in that event as well. Secure the gold. We were lucky enough to be sitting next to Kim Mickle, good friend of Danny Samuels, and she talked us through those final few throws there. And that wasn't that a, a little treat to see that. And then Kim went down, gave Danny a big hug. We shared a bit of a hug as well as the high fives with Eleanor as well. We thought it couldn't get any better, Mossy. But wait. There is more, my friends, because uh, tonight, as we saw once again, the uh, Glasgow Gold banner was uh, shown very, very high. It was uh, waving around in the breeze. It was a very tense moment for us. Three Aussies in the final of the 100-metre hurdles in the women's. Uh, a lot of pressure on uh, the Aussie girls because so far gold medals only won by women uh, on the track and the field. And it was young Sally Pearson, this young kid who grew up in New South Wales and now trains up at the Gold Coast. Robbo, she did pretty well. She certainly did. The trademark Pearson start came out of the blocks, all guns blazing, and she had the field covered. Tiffany Porter, the big rival from England, came at her hard towards the end, and Sally had to work all the way to the finish line. But uh, it was what happened next that impressed me, Mossy. Yeah, well, let's not even worry about the race, Robbo, <laughs> because uh, as you'll see here on the footage, she's sort of running along, and then she spots a young man with a headband, a bloke, with a jimmy hat and a massive blow up kangaroo called Jumpy and she makes a beeline straight to them and all of a sudden she's just embracing the whole crew here which is just fantastic for her, it would be one of the highlights of her games. Certainly would be Mossy, I know Sally, you know she's won everything there is to win. Noah, um, you know Sally, Mate, well, you've, you've, you've shared sweat, as you said. She's my sister. Yeah, abs well, as good as, okay, <laughs> well and as you said there, that hug went on for a very long time and I Look, think it was rather awkward for everyone in the crowd. There's only one way you get these. This is just, I got these from Christmas. Um, these were under the tree and when we had our Christmas up there at the Pearson household. <laughs> so, yeah, no, look, a real thrill. And, um, yeah, I'll treasure that moment forever. And Jumpy as well. And, uh, and yourself, you were right in the mix. And, Mossy, we should actually just... Jumpy's over here in the background. As you'd expect, folks, Jumpy hasn't handled the three golds all that well. He has been on an emotional roller coaster this whole uh, 10 days or whatever we're up to he's pretty flat um, luckily we rushed him straight to the vet he was fine um, up until Pearson's was gold he? I think he actually uh, burst on one of Sally Pearson's goosebumps it was oh. just amazing the, the fact that Sally got a, a chance to a catch up with you can we just see that footage again because that my friend is what I call Glasgow gold. No, Mossy, that's Pearson gold. Oh, very, very good. Now let's um, jump over into uh, the gold medal tally. In fact, the Glasgow gold medal tally. And, and let's just see uh, what the, the tally that matters most. Yes, Mossy, well, lots to report on. In addition to Sally Samuels and Patterson's gold at the track and the field, we got gold in the diving. Matthew Mitchum Oh, no, Robert. That's Glasgow gold. Well, it was Edinburgh gold, actually, because it's held over in Edinburgh, the diving. The, the, uh, the same pool, the Commonwealth pool in Edinburgh that held the 86 games. Matthew Mitchum and Dominic uh, Bedgood. And Dominic's from the Gold Coast as well. So it's a double gold for the Gold Coast today. Sally Pearson's also on the Gold Coast. And Dominic, well done. That was in the synchronised 10-metre platform and synchronised diving, Mossy. Isn't that 
a, uh, a fantastic sport. I think there should be some synchronised athletics, personally. Absolutely. I, th- well. I think it's right up there with the AFL and NRL. It's like should be our third national code. It's, I agree. It's, it's definitely there, for sure. On top of that, Mossy, if we talk about the other Scotralian medals that go in the jar today, Dan Purvis in the parallel bars. Well done to him. He's a ginger. Uh, men's fours in the bowls. Weren't they on fire? I think they accounted for England. And the men's singles, singles in the bowls as well. The Jackaroos. So, what that, yeah. What that all mean? No, well, the Scotteroos, I think they're called. Oh, Scotteroos. Scotteroos. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. So Makes what... sense, doesn't it? You go to a bowls club, what do you drink? You don't drink Jack, do you? Scotch. You drink Scotch. Now, Mossy, Day 9's medal tally has ended up looking like this. England, out in front, 48 gold, 140 total. Australia, second as we look at this table, 40 gold, 124. Canada, a third with 30 gold. Scotland, fourth with 17 gold now. And an interesting one here is Kiribati on one gold. And that's their first ever gold medal in the history of the Com Games. It went to weightlifter David Katoatau. And uh, that was in the 105 kilo division. First ever Com Games medal. So, Can you tell me where Kiribati is? Uh, yeah, it's in the Pacific, I'm pretty sure. It's just near Australia. Or uh, it's part like, of I thought Australia. it was actually part of Australian Sydney Harbour there. Is it? In it there? Kiribati, perhaps. Ah, uh, it could be where the Prime Minister sometimes stays. Now, Mossy... Look, that's that's great to have that medal tally, but let's see the all-important real medal tally, which includes Scotralia. That's right, the union between Scotland and Australia, as you can see behind us here. And out in front, Mossy, on a blistering 57 gold medals is Scotralia. Second place is England on 48. And uh, Mossy, I'm keeping Kiribati up our sleeve because in case it gets a bit close and we get level, Scotralia and England... Pretty sure Kiribati will be included very swiftly into the Scotralian constitution. Absolutely. And talk about Scotralia. One of the huge features here in Scotralia is uh, in Glasgow. Everywhere we go, there are lots of uh, cones, Robbo. Yes. Cones, cones everywhere. And uh, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to find out about that in a moment. Uh, in fact, why don't we go to it right now? Because Cal's the man. Uh, we sent him out there today to find out about the cones of Glasgow. People have been talking about Commonwealth Games fever. Forget that, it's all about traffic cone fever. Here we are, just near George Square. What's this all about? Let's find out. There you go, Robbo. Cones all around Glasgow. Yeah, great work, Cal, once again. And uh, great to see what's really happening on the streets here in Glasgow. And I know it's a big part of the culture here. Mossy, how's it going for you there with the cane on the head? It's brilliant. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, no, it's it's really comforting, actually. It makes Good. me feel, uh, you know, I guess soothed. Well, don't... Look, folks, probably not best to try this at home. Remember, it's conely a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> we try. That is as <laughs> fucking the cones off. Moment. Cones are off. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Well, Robbo has been voted in the top ten segments of Glasgow Gold. Mm. It is. The Ginger Games, and uh, we're going to uh, go down the path of actually putting a vote out there to our audience, not the studio audience, but all the viewers out there, and we're going to make this one on this uh, little thing that started up recently called Facebook. Now, today we have, I think you mentioned it earlier, it was Dan Purvis. Yes. And, uh, you know, he looks like he's got a little bit of a tinge of ginger there. (laughs) He's um, in the Ginger Games uh, as a men's parallel bars gold medalist and i tell you what a gold medalist it's also up there is me the moss man yeah okay so we'd like to put it out there you reckon well who's the more ginger is it dan the man or is it mossy uh and look we want to hear from you folks we're going to put this up on facebook right now and you get your votes in and the winner will get a uh 
bottle of iron brew, I'm pretty sure, in the mail. Well, why don't they get a um, bit of a swig out of some naked water? Yep, that'll be good too. So, uh, yeah, it's always good to wash the iron brew down with a little bit of naked water. Goes well with the naked runner's headband. Let's not forget that as well. So get your votes in, folks. Ginger Games, the winner will be announced very shortly. So uh, get those votes happening. And what about our executive producers, Robo? Why leave town? Oh, look. Why, why would you leave town? Honestly, no. shop local, keep the money in town um, and spread the good vibes around your own community. You can get your own Why Leave Town uh, s- system set up. Just jump onto the website and the guys will be happy to help you. Now, as always, Robbo, we need to catch up with uh, the son of Robbie Burns, the great famous poet here in Scotralia. And uh, it's none other than Craig Burns. And now we're doing the countdown that we found. This is in his top two. And let's find out what's happening with a word from Burns. Where er that place be priests call hell, where are tones o misery yell, and ranked plagues their numbers tell in dreadful roar, though toothache surely bears the bell among the mouth. Well, there you go, Robbo. It's got me once again. Now it's time for us to turn our attention to tomorrow. We're looking at uh, staring down the barrel of day 10, Mm. all the action there, Robbo. So let's look at uh, what's on your plate. Well, Mossy, it's a tinge of sadness as we're coming to the end of the Double X Games. Uh, Yeah, two full days left, and I I never like getting to this part of the games. You know, quite melancholy. I go a bit introverted, a bit within myself. Uh, but nevertheless, let's let's play our one. Our out at the track tomorrow, Alana Boyd. I'm calling it. She's the defending champ. Uh, gold medal there. The only thing in her way is the other two Australians in the event, the Parnov sisters. Um, let's see them. Maybe challenge for gold, silver, and bronze in that one. Women's 5,000 metres, Emily Brickercheck and Elsie Wellings. Can't wait to see them in action. Men's jab, we've got the full three in there. Luke can, because who can? Luke can. That's right. We've got Hamish Peacock and Josh Robinson as well, chucking the spear long and strong. And there's another gold, silver, bronze there. Jeff Risley's made it to the final of the men's 1,500 metres. Women's and men's 4x400 relays and the women's 4x100 relays. We might see Super Sally in action again. Um, Look, Mossy, I reckon we can get some medals out of that as well. But what about at the hockey? Plenty of good action happening out there. And we've got semi-finals. For the men's, the cookers, cookabarras. Yep. And the uh, hottie roos, they'll be uh, looking to take on England in the uh, all-important gold medal match. Mm. And uh, we love you girls, and we're looking forward to uh, sharing a champagne with that gold medal with you afterwards. Well, that's all we've got time for today, Robbo. Uh, look forward to tomorrow to share more Glasgow gold. And I tell you what, we're going to have to leave this show with the moment, the greatest moment in Sally Pearson's life.